What's up everybody? We're talking about common beginner mistakes that I've made so you don't have to. So the name of the channel is Cornhole Noob, which means Cornhole Beginner. And I've been trying to get serious, somewhat serious anyway with the sport since the beginning of summer. It's been about six months now. And as you can imagine, as a beginner of trying to take this seriously, I have made a handful of mistakes. I'll continue to make more, I'm sure. But I want to share those with you guys so you don't have to worry about making them and you can start off your cornhole journey, cornhole career, cornhole whatever, uh, the right way. So these are in no particular order. We're going to start down the list. Uh, number one, we're going to talk about bags. And one mistake that you can get caught up in quick as a cornhole beginner or cornhole noob is spending way, way too much money on bags. First of all, I didn't realize how much good cornhole bags cost. All I'd ever messed with in the past was, you know, backyard stuff. You, you grab the corn-filled uh, canvas bags or suede bags. Uh, but when I really got online, when I first started uh, getting into this, I discovered quickly that bag prices can, can vary. They can get crazy, especially on the secondary market. And I kind of turned my nose up at it at first, like, well, this is silly. I'm not going to worry about all this. I'm going to buy me a set or two of bags and practice and get good. But trust me when I say you can you can get caught up quick. So I started off with a set of Reynolds Typhoons and Fire uh, Vengeance bags, great bags, around 40 to 50 bucks, and that is all you need. So I'm going to put some links to those in the description where you can go and get them yourself. I thought that was all I was going to need, and really that is all I needed, except... When you get on these cornhole forums, man, you see everybody showing all the different designs, all the different bags. These bags are faster. These bags are slower. These bags feel better in your hand. And from me turning my nose up at the whole cornhole bag game, you know, thinking, well, I'm never going to get into that. I just need what I, what I have. Uh, I found myself quickly on the Ultra website, refreshing the page on bag drop night, trying to get the latest, latest release from Ultra bags. I ordered some black sheet bags, and all of a sudden I had a big room full of cornhole bags. I've since sold of them, I sold some bags that I had bought and, and gotten some others and gotten comfortable with what I, what I really like now, but I could have saved myself a headache and a lot of money on the front end by just sticking with my, my beginner bags, which are still very, very fine bags. A lot of the top pros play them uh, until I got to some events and got my hands on some other ones rather than just getting in the FOMO and buying them off of hype on the internet. All right, another ba bad habit. You know, I used to play a lot of golf and if you go out to the golf driving range, and if you've never really picked up a golf club before, or maybe you've been given a few little lessons, but you've got horrible habits. But if you go to the driving range and hit balls long enough, you'll hit some good drives and hit some good shots and feel like you've got it dialed in. But if you haven't been shown the proper technique or the proper, proper practice habits, proper golf swing, um, eventually when you get out to play for real, that's going to shine through and you're going to struggle and you're going to be inconsistent and knock it all over the place. So the same thing goes for Cornell. If you don't have a solid base of your technique uh, and practice the right way, you're going to ingrain bad habits. Then you're going to waste the rest of your practice time going forward trying to get rid of your bad habits. And I kind of did some of that. Uh, thankfully, we have YouTube. Uh, don't take my word for what your, your technique and your specific form and things like that should be. We have YouTube where you can go out and watch some great YouTube channels like I've done. I'll link those in the description too. You've got uh, Cornhole Science is one of the best. Corn, the Cornhole Network is great. Uh, Cornhole Bag Reviews has some really good how-tos. Mike's Bags has some great some great stuff on there. I'll put links to all their channels in there. Uh, those guys have you know really big, successful channels. You check them out. But go watch that stuff and get yourself a good baseline of technique and and practice habits so that when you do go out and practice, whether it's in your yard or at a you know at your local blind draw or you get there early and practice, that you're doing the right things. To, to set you up for success down the road, and that muscle memory is the right way, not the wrong way. All right, boards. Unlike bags, I'm gonna go the other way on boards. I use the old saying, buy once, cry once. Uh, I didn't fall into this mistake, but I could easily have. My wife tried to buy me some boards from Sam's Club for like 50 bucks, and while that would have been great, I kind of put the stop on her and had thankfully come across my buddy Jason who was making custom boards. He used to fish with me and bought some of his. There was another video on my, on my boards that I got, and those were, you know, expensive custom boards. You know, if you're going to buy a good set, it's going to be in the $250 to $350 range probably, unless you're a handy person and can look up some tutorials and make them. But get good, solid boards to start. That way, uh, it may be the only set you ever need if you take care of them, but you're not starting off with bouncy, flimsy boards and won't get frustrated when you do start trying to practice and take it serious. So another mistake beginners can make is they wait until just the right time to go to a tournament or local event or whatever. 
And don't avoid tournaments. You can be in the backyard playing Scorholio or practicing by yourself and beating the ghost and throwing fire like you're the best. And if you avoid tournaments until you think it's the right time and until you're good enough, you're not going to end. Up, you're never really going to have a gauge of where you're at because when you get out there and you know you're playing against other people, unfamiliar people in an unfamiliar place, it really tests your skill. And you also get to see. I mean, cornhole's we, cornhole's kind of different. Like I said, I played golf before. If you look at good golf swings, they all kind of look similar. And I know for cornhole, there is a, a base technique of, of throwing the bag right. But I swear, if you watch 100 people throw, they're all throwing wildly different ways. Uh, so if you go to tournaments, you can see different grips, different stances. And most importantly, you can try out different bags and equipment. So, you know, if you're only going to buy a set or two of beginner bags, the only way you're going to know what else to buy, uh, save your money until you know what you like, is to go to some local events, some regional events, whatever, and in warm-ups, maybe enter some blind draws and get your hands on some different brands, different styles that you may want to go out and buy. So don't avoid tournaments. Don't wait for the perfect time because there is no perfect time. Just go sign up. Have fun. Uh, the community is very welcoming. I, I can attest to that as a new guy. Everybody's been so cool and helpful to me. So there you go, guys. That's just some mistakes that I've made so far. Please tell me any other mistakes that beginners should be looking out for in the comments. They'll go down there and read them. I'll give you one bonus mistake that beginners make, and that is they don't subscribe to this channel. So we can't all become, go from noobs to novice to, to great players together. So hit that subscribe button and notification bell and you can kind of come along with me on this journey as I try to get better. We all try to get better. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you watching.